Today we're taking a tour of my 2021 Ram Promaster 2500. This van came out of such a stealthy, clean, and solid build. It actually has some really well thought out design elements to save space, make things practical, and make it feel less like a boxed in, claustrophobic, tiny space. It actually feels pretty open and I love how it came out. Hey, my name is Ryan with Tailwind Vans and I've spent the last year or so traveling around in this van that I built out. And I've come to make the bittersweet decision of putting it up for sale. So if you like this van tour today and you wanna buy it, go ahead and check out that link in description for more information. And we are starting production on more vans here at Tailwind Vans. So if you are interested in buying a van similar to this one, or this one is already sold by the time you're watching this, go ahead and check out that link in the description for more information. So I guess we could start off this van tour with probably the most unique part of this van build, and this is the hammock mount. Uh, you can comfortably fit a whole, you know, adult person. I've actually had friends sleep in here. It's actually really comfortable. And it's mounted straight into the frame of the van, so it's not going anywhere. It's super sturdy. I weigh 200 pounds. And I really like this part of the design because it's literally the most space efficient way to sleep a third person comfortably here in this van. Here's a couple quick points I'm gonna rattle off about the van that you should probably know. It's Ram Promaster 2500 with a 159 wheelbase. So it's big enough to have plenty of space to use, but also not too big that it sticks out out of that parking spot and limits your parking abilities. We installed a CR Lawrence window here that takes care of a pretty bad blind spot when you're driving actually. And it also has a vent that can open for some great airflow. The flooring in here is Home Depot's Life Proof brand vinyl plank tongue and groove flooring. And as you can see here, both of these seats are mounted on swivel adapters so that with these two seats, plus the bench and the cooler style fridge over there, the van comfortably seats four people to just kind of hang out. And even more, if you want to kind of smush in there, it's, <laughs> it's a good time. Promasters these days come with uh, two overhead storage bins, which I love. We, we always need plenty of storage out here. And for our ceiling, I have these beautiful cedar tongue and groove planks with these 12 volt light strips on it that, that actually get pretty bright. They, uh, they're dimmable, so you can adjust them as needed. For these wall planks you see here, we went with some painted shiplap. And behind the whole ceiling and all these walls here is some um, 3M Thinsulate insulation to keep you nice and warm in the winter and try to keep you <laughs> nice and cool in the summer. Now onto the cooking area over here, since this is the first thing you see when you open the door and come into the van. Up top on these upper cabinets, you have a uh, painting on a snowboard from an artist in Colorado named Ty Timera. He painted this. I just figured uh, some art in the van really goes together and brings the place alive and makes it feel nice and homey. And to open the cabinet, you just open there up in the middle and you have perfect access to everything you need right in there. I put like pots and pans and plates and stuff up here. And when you're done with that, you just close it up. Down here we have our induction cooktop. I like the induction cooktop uh, because you don't have to have any sketchy open flames or propane tanks along with you. It's nice and clean. And a uh, toaster oven right here. You can make toast and cook eggs at the same time. I actually never really committed to mounting this here. So I've just kind of been moving it in and out as needed. So we can always mount that for you if you want. Here you have your 110 volt outlet along with a USB outlet. I use that for charging phones and such and a light switch here for your cooktop light. And I really like this butcher block countertop. Uh, it came out really nice and I finished it with a Rubio mono coat. So it's got a really durable and protective finish on it. And underneath here, you have plenty of storage space. You have five drawers and a, a cabinet door here. And I really, and I made sure that the uh, cabinet was big enough to fit a box of cereal. That was the design constraint that I wanted in there. And another unique thing, actually, instead of a backsplash or a tile or anything, this is actually a whiteboard. So I loved the idea of uh, jotting down some ideas for work or like writing notes or a shopping lists on here it came out to be really handy so over here we have our sink unit with a beautiful stone uh, sink here and matching modern faucet and the sink is definitely big enough to fit pots and pans and plates and everything but also small enough so that it doesn't take up too much space and underneath here you can see our whole entire water system you got your seven gallon freshwater tank it goes through the SureFlow uh, 12 volt pump through a sediment filter through the sink right here and drains down into the seven gallon gray water tank. Got a pretty nice sturdy table right here to put on drinks or food or anything if you're just kind of hanging out, sitting right here, enjoying the view. It's a nice little spot. And down here is also a great place to store your little outdoor shower head. So you have seven gallons of fresh water to take your own little outdoor shower here. Ah, 
that's just a little suction cup. And last but not least on this unit, we have this beautiful flip up countertop that provides plenty of hanging out and eating space for uh, the little passenger seat swivel chair there. I actually would like it a lot for uh, when you're doing dishes, you can put them to dry over here. It makes it a lot easier with all the extra countertop space. And to put that down, you just hit both of those buttons and whoop, good to go. So over here we have our 12 volt ice co fridge. It's super efficient and I love this one because it comes with a freezer and a uh, fridge, uh, two different compartments so that you can keep those separate and at two separate temperatures. And I really like this design of it because you can also use it as a bench. So instead of having a fri an upright fridge take up a whole lot of cabinet space, you can just use your fridge as also a seat. And another thing we designed for space efficiency with this fridge is this magnet here to keep it open when you need to load it and unload it and stuff like that. That magnet will keep both doors open and it makes it so that it can be kind of tucked away a, a little underneath the, uh, the bed here so that the overall footprint vertically of this fridge doesn't take up too much space so that you can get a little extra countertop space and your bed doesn't have to be narrower than it already is. So you can see the overhead cabinets continue all the way down the van and these cabinets have RV latches and gas struts on them to keep them open and closed as you need it. And for these ones over the bed, I really like using these for clothes and stuff. And you can see that there's actually, there's a gap here for this little open shelf. And I really like this because uh, it just, it's also cedar, so it matches the ceiling here. And it just kind of opens up the space and separates a little bit from the sleeping area and the hanging out and cooking and everything else kind of area. But here for our bed, we have this eight inch full size memory foam mattress. And you can see the bump outs here uh, built into the walls so that you take up every little inch of space possible. I'm six foot two, so I sleep a little diagonal or curled up a little bit, uh, but I definitely fit and sleep comfortably in here. And another thing that we purposefully designed over here was this kind of control area. I wanted a light switch and climate control stuff right next to the bed so you don't even have to get out to say, uh, turn on your Webasto heater or the Max Air fan or turn off your light. Also over here, we have another 110 GFCI outlet and a USB, you know, charger outlet. And this light switch is purposefully on this side so that as soon as you open that door, you can just reach in and turn on that light so you can see everything inside your house when you're getting into it. Underneath this bench over here, we have our battery system. That's the hub of the whole electrical system. You could take off this cushion and open this up if you want a better look at it, but you can basically see it just fine just peeking underneath here. The battery is a Gold Zero Yeti 3000X. It's got 3000 watt hours of power, so that means that here, I'll put up all this documentation from their website. This is how long it can power all this stuff. It's got the built-in inverter for AC power, a whole bunch of outlets that you can use, and all the safety features built in, like fans so it doesn't overheat, uh, charge controllers so that it doesn't overcharge, and it's charged by three 200 watt solar panels on the roof for a total of 600 watts of solar. And one of the most important parts of a van build is the garage. I made sure this was huge and like big enough so that I could fit a large enduro mountain bike in there. It's actually tall enough to fit that with just the front wheel off. And I also wanted it to be long enough so that you could fit a surfboard or something all the way back there. This material down here is super rugged. It's the material that actually came stock in the van. I just cut it to size and glued it to this plywood here. So it's that's you can't destroy that at all. It's some pretty tough stuff. And all these wheel well boxes, you have some tie downs so that you can tie down all your gear and it doesn't go flying all over the place. Oh, and also pretty useful down here you have a light. All right, so if you wanna buy this van or future builds from us here at Tailwind Vans, go ahead and check out that link in the description down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this van tour and I'll see you guys in the next one.